What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday. Hopefully, everyone's doing well and having a fantastic weekend. Hopefully, everyone's staying healthy and safe. If you had to take a COVID test, flu test, RSV, or some other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Sunday edition of the virus update for Sunday, January 5th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make you sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses going around right now. A lot of people are sick at the moment. We're at the peak of respiratory virus season, and it's going to remain high for several more weeks as hopefully we will start to see things dropping or drop pretty soon. But right now, we're just not seeing that yet, at least not for COVID and some of the other viruses but again hopefully we will see that soon want to stay informed with what's going on with these viruses subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell and share this video with anyone you know the more people that hit that like button the more youtube's going to share this content throughout the algorithm let's try for 200 like button hits today we did not do it yesterday let's see if we can do it today all right today we are going to take a look at a few news stories we're also going to take a look at some data out of the UK, some of our daily data, and then the back part of this uh, video, we will take a look at wastewater, and I think we may look at some California data as well. Shooting for about a 20-minute video today. Up to five cats sickened in California after bird flu found in another raw pet food brand. So yes, yet again, another raw uh, pet food brand is dealing lean with uh, bird flu issues. It sounds like this is the Monarch Raw Pet Food. And uh, yeah, I would uh, not advise giving your cat raw food at this time because this is just a quickly evolving situation. Within one week, two brands have had problems with H5N1 bird flu being in their product. Again, that is the Monarch Raw pet food that is uh, dealing with H5 bird flu issues, so avoid that brand. Speaking of bird flu, in Japan, they have had to call 50,000 chickens after bird flu outbreak, and I did start over on my website a uh, international bird flu tracking thread. This is for animals, not humans. We don't have an international human thread yet. We may at some point this year. But uh, I started an international one for animals because there are things starting to pop up with that already this year. It is uh, becoming a very busy year for several different things. Several Illinois hospitals are requiring masks as respiratory infections climb. That's right, several hospitals in Illinois once again are uh, requiring masks if you're going to visit facilities. Here's one, such as the Rush University Medical Center in a note on its website said visitors and staff must wear hospital-approved masks in some areas. Don't know what they uh, consider to be hospital-approved, as we know. Some places say, oh, it's got to be surgical and can't be N95. We won't get into that discussion. But, uh, yes, yeah, some um, medical centers in Illinois are once again requiring masks. There's several others here. I will post this story in today's a uh, post that I'll make on my website of all the news stories used in the video, and you can see if any of the hospitals near you are doing it. Emergency department visits for COVID-19 influenza, RSV, are rising in New Hampshire, and we did see emergency department visits on the, uh, the website yesterday. You know, the CDC webpage for COVID are really starting to rise in New Hampshire at this time. All right, Cat Herding Science posted this and uh, this is really interesting now this is not a new study it's been out for a while but it's a good reminder to you of what covid can do maternal covid infections during pregnancy doubles the risk of a developmental disorder diagnosis at one year 6.3 percent versus three percent this has been known since at least 2022 but nothing is being done to protect mothers and babies during parental care visits yep this is a real thing, and this was the first time that I saw this study, so obviously, you know who I am. I like to put um, studies on my website, archive. Anytime I run across something, 
it gets archived. So this one has been added to the mix, and I did maneuver a couple studies around to make them categorize better. All right, in Idaho, Canyon County woman is Southwest District's health. First flu death of the season. So, yep, flu deaths, they are starting to pop up even now in Idaho. Uh, flu is a issue there. It's, it's an issue all across the United States. We've been seeing things running really high, and I suspect we are going to continue to see more and more flu deaths. That woman was over 50. Uh, who died. In the UK, in the UK in general, uh, flu has been really running rampant over there. NHS engulfed as number of people in hospital with flu quadruples in a month. Uh, yeah, quadruples. And the figure shows that there were an average of 4,469 flu patients in hospital beds in England each day last week, including 211 in critical care. This is up 17% from 3,818 the previous week when 184 were in critical care. Back on December 1st, the number was 1,098. And let's take a look at some data from the UK. Check this out. The positivity rate for flu in the UK right now, 26.4%. That is extremely high. And that is from a PCR testing, you can see here, from November into December, it just exploded and is still going up. I hope this peaks soon and we start to see a drop relatively soon because this is just ridiculous. And it looks like this is among all ages. And take a look at this. The percentage of people who received a PCR test had at least one positive. Ages 5 to 14 are at the top of the chart. Then comes ages 15 to 44. Healthcare, you can see. Emergency department visits, diagnosed with flu. Uh, yes, that's uh, really high. A lot of things are really high on this. Let's uh, go back. Let's now take a look at what is going on with RSV. And the good news with RSV is that back in early December, RSV did peak. And RSV is dropping at this time. And it is dropping among almost all age groups with exceptions to ages uh, 45 to 50. Four years old is still rising, and also 15 to 44 years old, um, yes, is still seeing, I think that's 15 to 4, or is that 75 to 84 years old, excuse me, is still seeing a slight rise at this time, but overall, it's dropping, which that is some good news, and we can click on other viruses, and it looks like everything else is not doing too bad. HMPV, 4.5% positivity rate is showing up at this time, so uh, that is an increase. They did see an increase in December. And there's been a lot of discussion lately about HMPV going on in China. All I can tell you is what I know is uh, it is rising there. It is causing a big surge in the hospitals. A lot of uh, people are quoting or there's articles out there saying, oh, it could be uh, 2020 all over again. We don't know that just yet. It's just something we have to keep an eye on. And should that start to become an issue over here? then we'll take note of it. But right now, we're not seeing that here in the United States. We're just seeing that, hey, they are seeing an influx of people in the hospital over in China right now. Taking a look at the viral activity levels in Canada, COVID-19 is moderate, flu A is high, flu B is low, and RSV is high at this time. Over on my website, datareport.info, I have to tell you this, the U.S. sports illness thread, it's already on to page two. Yes, you've heard me correctly. It has made the page two all right. Now, there is some commentary, not just from me and from others as well, but the point is there have been a ton of illnesses, and this thread is quickly filling up. Page three is probably coming within just a short few days. It's both the NFL and the NBA that are really uh, getting hit the hardest right now when it comes to illnesses in the United States. Then internationally, there are some cases of illness popping up among uh, soccer players. So that is getting interesting as well. Taking a look at what is going on now with air quality levels across the United States. And we will see that the West Coast is getting hit the hardest. Then uh, Pennsylvania through Ohio. Fireplaces are running. It's cold out. So therefore, um, we're seeing some increased air quality issues there as well. In Pinellas County, Florida, 
we do see that there are quite a few calls at the moment. This is near St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay area. Sick person is showing up one, two, three, four, five six times and then there's a whole bunch of other calls at least six times for sick person stroke is showing up unconscious subject so yes there are some calls to be had in pinellas county florida and there are some delays uh discharging patients from the ambulance to the hospital as you can see here some of these reds 31 30 minutes 24 minutes uh, that is not a good thing in philadelphia there were 700 ems incidents on saturday Currently doing a live looking at Montgomery County shows a few calls. Respiratory emergency, cardiac emergency is showing up. And Chester County, Pennsylvania. That Montgomery County was being Pennsylvania, not Maryland. And in Chester County, Pennsylvania, we do see cardiac arrest is showing up. Emotional disorder, respiratory difficulty, sick person, emotional disorder again, stroke, falls, and diabetic emergency, and EMS standby. Taking a look at the hospital situation in Pennsylvania shows that once again, we are dealing problems with problems at uh, some of the hospitals, overcrowding at uh, Westchester. Quakertown, Pennsylvania is also dealing with some overcrowding at the hospital. Looks to be some issues in the Lehigh Valley, the Poconos, and the lower Susquehanna Valley. Let's see, York. Uh, divert is going on there. Overcrowding at Wellspan, York in New Jersey. Let's see what's going on today. And I am seeing some red showing up. It looks like uh, Capital Health is seeing patient volume, that's one hospital, and Inspire Malka Hill is patient volume, that's two, and I do see the Valley Hospital and University Hospital are dealing with some issues at this time. The Valley Hospital looks like a patient volume issue at this time. Taking a look at wastewater in Pennsylvania, you know the deal. It's uh, either a large increase or increase at many wastewater sites. Yeah, Pennsylvania is really bad at the moment. Walgreens this week, the positivity rate is 16.6%. And now let's take a look at some wastewater data first. We'll do wastewater scan. Then we will do the CDC site. And we're going to end on California. So we're going to spend about maybe two or three minutes here on wastewater scan and two minutes or so on the CDC page. Nationally, COVID, it's not peaked yet. It is still rising. We hope to see a peak within the next week or two historically right now uh, since COVID has started is when it usually peaks the wave got started late this year which could be why it is delayed a week or two uh, RSV at this time that's still rising and both COVID and RSV are high at this time influenza A is still rising we hope to see a peak for that relatively soon influenza B is rising that's low HMPV still rising norovirus is running high but there's a wonky movement at the end and perhaps maybe an early sign that norovirus may be about to peak. All right, let's go to each region and we'll do one wastewater site in each region. In the Midwest, there's this wonky movement downward for COVID, but overall it is still rising. I would like to say that the Midwest is getting very close to a peak. Hopefully maybe this week is it because they have really been getting hit hard. RSV, eh, if you take away that wonky movement, Perhaps RSV is trying to peak at this time. Influenza A still rising, and all three of these are listed in high. Influenza B is low. HMPV is low. Norovirus is high. I don't know if this is peaking or not, but it is. this is a really high number. I hope that is peaking for the Midwest region. Let's take a look at what's going on in Warren, Michigan. And we can see here levels are not calculated, but... If they were, it would show COVID is very high at this wastewater site. And that does appear to be maybe off a little bit. I mean, that is a really high number. I hope it's not that high because uh, this is 140,000 population at this wastewater site. RSV, I would say, is probably high. Influenza A is probably in the medium, if I had to guess. But it is still rising at this time. Maybe signs that it might be dropping. Influenza B, low. HMPV, not much of an issue. Norovirus is rising at this time moving on now to the northeast and in the northeast we find that covid is very high even if you take that wonky movement away it has rapidly rise now in the northeast as has rsv if you're noticing here the charts look very similar covid rsv and influenza a so i'm not sure if that's an issue a glitch i honestly do not know influenza b is still rising at this time hmpv is really low uh, norovirus probably still rising hopefully going to be peaking 
very soon. Let's go to a big wastewater site. North. Let's go to Boston and see what's going on there. And Boston's COVID levels are listed high, still likely rising. RSV still rising. Influenza A still rising. Influenza B at this wastewater site is actually listed in high, as is norovirus. So, yeah, Boston's getting hit really hard with the viruses right now. We can hope within the next week or two, Boston does peak. In the south, it does appear that COVID is in the process of peaking right now. Same deal with RSV and influenza A. And a lot of times we do see the south peak first. Influenza B is low. HMPB is low. And norovirus is peaking as well. But norovirus, influenza A, COVID, and RSV all still in the high categories despite uh, peaking at this time. The west coast was the last place to get going for COVID. And they were rising, but... Now there's a wonky move, but they're not rising all that much at this time, at least not on wastewater scan. RSV at this time is running high. Influenza A is running high. That may be starting to peak. RSV also may be really close to a peak. Influenza B is low. HMPV is low. And norovirus is running high at this time. And it does look like norovirus is peaking. All right. We owe you two more wastewater sites because we did not actually click on one in the south. Let's go to Los Angeles. And in Los Angeles, COVID is low. Uh, RSV is high. And it is still rising a little bit. Influenza A is listed as high. Influenza B is low, but it is rising. HMPV is low. Norovirus is flat at this time, but it is listed as high. Now let's go to the south. And in the south, we do see that uh let's go to uh orange county Florida. now it's not calculated there i want to go somewhere where it's calculated let's go down to miami north miami here we go and COVID there is listed at low rsv is high influenza a is high it looks like influenza a still rising slightly influenza b is low but rising norovirus continues to rise at this time and no mpox issues reported there at this time taking a look at the uh, regional looks for um COVID at this time from the CDC. We do see the Midwest is getting hit the hardest, and nationally, things are in the high category and still rising at this time. Let's go over to Influenza A. We're just going to go through each one, including MPOX. We won't click on any individual state. Influenza A is in the moderate category across the United States. It's not far off from high. We'll have to see if it actually gets to that, because it does show signs that maybe it is slowing off a little bit, or at least I hope it is starting to slow off a little bit. Taking a look at RSV, and we can see nationally RSV has peaked, which is some good news at this time. And taking a look at MPOX, and we can see here, let's see, across 248 sites, it does show that there are clay 2 sites, 161. And look at this. We are not seeing much of any detections of mpox at this time which is some good news all right going over to la now and we can see la is not doing bad their wastewater is rising their emergency department visits dropped slightly uh, their cases were going up it looks to me as if their cases may have already peaked again they got hit really hard in the summertime so we would not expect a big wave there right now and california today let's take a look at what's going on with uh California uh, virus page, if it does come up, here we go, and COVID positivity rate is 2.3%, flu is 13.2%, that is up by 3.8%, RSV is 7.6%, and we can see here that uh, COVID is now medium and increasing, and finally, I did just want to show you this once again, we can see here, influenza-like activity has exploded in many places with purple showing up in Tennessee, Alabama, Louisiana, New Mexico, Idaho, and Oregon at this time. That is really bad. So overall, flu is still really hitting the United States hard at this time. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Sunday edition of the Virus Update. We'll have another update again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below. And I will see you again next time. Until I see you again next time. Stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.